Tarsal tunnel syndrome compressive neuropathy of the tibial nerve within the fibrosis tunnel posterior and inferior to the medial malleolu the 18th of November 2023 Definition compressive neuropathy of the tibial nerve within the fibrosis tunnel posterior and inferior to the medial malleolus bounded by the flexor retinaculum the chineate ligament superficially the medial talus medial calcaneus and sustentaculum tali deep, and the abductor hallucis inferiorly. The tarsal tunnel also contains the tibialis posterior, FHL and FDL tendons, the posterior tibial artery, the veni comitons, and the numerous septa that subdivide the tunnel. Reported causes of tarsal tunnel syndrome include tenosynovitis, engorged or varicose vessels, synovial or ganglion cysts, pigmented villianodular synovitis, nerve sheath tumors, lipomas, fracture of the sustentaculum tali or medial tubercle of the posterior process of the talus, middle facet tarsal coalition, and accessory muscles. Systemic diseases such as diabetes mellitus, RA, and ankylosing spondylitis may have an indirect effect by causing inflammatory edema. Diagnosis Symptoms of tarsal tunnel syndrome may be vague and misleading. Include a burning sensation on the plantar surface of the foot and medial ankle and occasional sharp pains or paresthesias. Prolonged standing, walking, or running can exacerbate the symptoms. Prolonged standing, walking, or running can exacerbate the symptoms. Physical examination. Percussion of the entire course of the distal tibial nerve and its branches should be performed. Tinnel sign. Radiating pain or discomfort with continuous deep compression over the nerve, or diminished two point discrimination may be elicited. Sensory examination is usually unpredictable. Assess hind foot alignment. Pays planus may cause increased tension on the nerve. Wasting of the abductor hallucis or abductor digiti quinti may be seen if the medial or lateral plantar nerve are involved, respectively. Diagnostic tests. Electrodiagnostic studies should be performed to help make the diagnosis or determine a different level of compression. Sensory nerve conduction studies are more commonly abnormal than motor nerve conduction studies. Electromyography, EMG, abnormalities are less sensitive. MRI may identify the presence of a mass occupying lesion, which if present must be excised. Figure. Surgical decompression with mass excision results in more predictable symptomatic improvement compared to patients who do not have a mass occupying lesion. Correlation with history and physical examination findings is essential. Non-operative treatment. Management should begin with conservative measures unless there is a suspicious mass or suspected malignancy. Medications such as NSAIDs, vitamin B6, and tricyclic antidepressants are most commonly prescribed. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, and anti-seizure medications, gabapentin, pregabalin, are also used. Physical therapy may include stretching, massage, desensitization, and eye interferesis. Orthoses to correct hind foot valgus, medial heel wedge, play an important role as well. In cases of acute inflammation or severe limitation because of pain, a brief course of a cam walker boot or short leg cast may be helpful. Operative treatment. Space occupying lesion should be excised with concomitant nerve release. If appropriate conservative management for three to six months is unsuccessful, surgical intervention is warranted. Longitudinal incision made over the course of the tibial nerve curves distally behind medial malleolus to the abductor musculature, figure. The nerve is identified proximally, and the proximal investing fascia and flexor retinaculum are released. Care must be taken to release the superficial and deep fascia of the abductor hallucis muscle. Endoscopic tarsal tunnel release is not recommended. Recurrence of tarsal tunnel syndrome is a challenging problem. Incomplete release is the most common etiology, though intrinsic nerve damage may play a role in recurrent symptoms. Revision release may be of benefit if incomplete release is suspected, though results are often poor. Lateral plantar nerve. 
Provide sensation to the plantar lateral aspect of the foot may be injured during surgical approaches that require a plantar incision, such as a tibiotolocal canial (TTC) arthrodesis with an intramedullary nail. First branch of the lateral plantar nerve, Baxter nerve, may be a source of chronic plantar medial heel pain associated with long distance runners, marathon runners. Medial plantar nerve provides sensation to the plantar medial aspect of the foot. Entrapment occurs at the knot of Henry, junction of FDL and FHL tendons. Most common etiology is external compression from orthotic devices. Also called jogger's foot, conservative treatment is often successful and includes avoidance of orthotics or pressure along the plantar medial hindfoot. Thanks for watching. Subscribe Orthopedics Trauma in YouTube.